So, Mr. By The Mile, a trucking vlogging YouTuber. I thought he was done with this red pill stuff because he does a little bit of that. I guess not. I guess he's still like... Okay. Just because you think you're a player, you're a pimp, you're a ladies man, and you think that you got her in the friend zone, the friend zone for men is different than the friend zone for women. When a woman friend zones you, you're the shoulder for her to cry on without any sex. But when a man puts a woman in the friend zone, he's able to have her without the commitment. After so long, maybe a month or so, if she wanted to be exclusive with you. Mr. By the Mile, you've been doing trucking content with your company's name in the title of your videos. You know your coworkers are watching this shit too, right? <laughs> I'm sorry, dude. It's just like, why is your shirt off? <laughs> Put your shirt on, dude. You were doing so good with your channel. You were doing these trucking vlogs and it was all good. But then you come and just punch us in the throat with this red pill stuff with your shirt off. And it's, oh, God. <laughs> type of thing being friend zoned it's gonna take her a minute maybe a couple weeks maybe a week to say what are we you're gonna say oh you know this is whatever excuse you have and then she's immediately gonna start seeing other dudes and if you think that's not the reality you'd better think again my friends because women are women this is their nature this is how they were designed to me, it sounds like there's something going on. Is there something on my beard? So to me, with that reaction, it seems like, I don't know if he went through a breakup right now. I wish him the best, you know? I hope whatever he's going through, Mr. By The Ma, I hope, you know, things work out for you, I really do. But this red pill stuff, dude, this is so toxic. I mean, do you hear what you're saying? This is the way women are designed, women are women. The problem with this red pill stuff is, you know, it talks about women like they're this group, like they're a bunch of robots that all think the same and like, like, like they're all the same thing. And that's just not true. <laughs> Oftentimes guys think that just because they're laying the pipe well, that it's gonna keep a woman. But women, they were designed to survive and to use you for that survival. Now, usually they want all the things that they, des they desire all rolled up in a one big man but it's just not possible. Yeah, again, you know, this sounds like he went through a breakup and, you know, I don't know, dude, like guys go through breakups and they find themselves on YouTube, like asking why or whatever. When you think about it, it's really feminine, you know, cause as a man, you should just be able to, you know, like get over it, deal with it, you know, crack a beer or whatever. But dude, when you go on YouTube and you say like women are all women, like all women are pretty much the same, got the sugar daddy she's got the one that can lay pipe she's got the one that can dominate her in the bedroom the way she needs it she's got a man for every type of situation and a backup man for each and every one of those jobs and if you think that you've just got the best D in the world he got another thing coming to you as well a woman can go. <laughs> what the fuck? Dude, th this all sounds creepy. It looks creepy. You got your shirt off. Uh, oh. Look, us guys, we have a track record. You know, our gender, we're the creepy gender. Women call men creepy all the time. This is not helping. This is like certifying what they think of us, dude. Come on, bro. Sure. Yeah, you might be able to please a woman thoroughly here and again, you know, but it does not mean, okay, that you are the end all be all, right, to her fantasies and her dreams. So if you think you're gonna be a dude that <clears throat> can live at home with his parents still at 25, 28, 30, God forbid, 32 years old, so right now he's gonna call us all a loser. I'm a loser, I live at home with my mom at 32. Right now I'm living in the truck. And because of that, I'm a loser. I guarantee you that's what he's gonna say. And he's gonna say that the women think that guys like that are losers too. I, I, dude, that's what he's gonna say. 
and that any woman is going to respect you, you got another thing coming to you. Told you. <laughs> you know, most of these guys out here, most of you with these delusional mindsets, don't even have a house in your name yet. Let alone a vehicle paid off. I knew someone like this. Very narcissistic. He tried it with me twice, you know, and it just, he knew it like it didn't work out for him. He got drunk and called me talking shit. I knew he was drunk. This guy had a heavy drinking problem and, you know, there was like beef going on between me and this dude. And just like Mr. By the Mile, this dude would talk about, oh, I'm a homeowner. I got my shit together. You know, I got this, that, and the third. What do you got? You don't even got your shit together. You're not a real man. You don't even own a house. And this person, you know, that would get on his high horse and say all this shit. And it wasn't just me that he would say this shit to, you know? This person had a lot of mental health issues, right? And it, you know, things just didn't end up working out for him. That reminds me of this. Like, dude, this has reminded me so much of this person. Whoever's watching this, if you're not a homeowner, if you don't have a car, if you don't have a pot to piss in, this shit is just not true, dude. Like this thing where Mr. By the Mile and these red pill guys, they think that all women are like exactly the same. And they think that all women like don't respect you if you don't have this, that. And, like they think Mr. By the Mile, the one who has a delusional mindset is you because the things that you believe in, this red pill garbage, it's not true. And dude, it's just a real toxic way to look at the world. You know, this narcissism right here, like you don't own a house, you don't have a, a car paid off or whatever. This materialistic bullshit, right? Sure, there are some women that, you know, they won't respect you if you don't have a house or whatever at a certain age. But dude, not all women are the same. Like, there's broke-ass couples out there. There's couples out there that are struggling financially together. But yet you think you're going to turn around and then be able to tell a woman what to do. Or have any sort of expectations from a woman once she decides that she will accept your invitation for a relationship okay oftentimes a woman will enter a relationship with a man that has nothing that late in life because she knows that she'll have you wrapped under her finger because that thing between her legs is a hell of a lot more powerful a hell of a lot more powerful than you threatening to kick her out. <laughs> that thing between her legs. Dude, do you hear how you're talking? This video is very fucking creepy, dude. Like I said, you know your coworkers are watching this, dude. Why would you post something like this on your YouTube channel? Dude? Mr. By the Mile, it sounds like you think very low of women. It does. And I think you left like a comment talk about like in this video, I think you're the only one that left a comment so far as of now. You said something like women are not the enemy or whatever. Dude, you're making them sound like a huge enemy. <laughs> what are you doing? Explain this to me. How are these guys that did long stints in the pen? How are these guys that are locked up in prison getting married in prison and they don't have anything? They're not even physically available. I mean, they're talking to their wife behind like like in the visiting room behind a screen or whatever and then come out you know get married in prison and come out to a wife mr by the mile the things that you believe in they're just not true i'm sorry dude this is a really bad way to look at the world this is a really bad way to look at women because when you kick her out remember all those guys i mentioned before the d-man the sugar daddy the shoulder to cry on well they're all waiting my friend, they are waiting. So my friend, if you are consuming this unhealthy form of red pill content and you're wasting your time hating women and- Mr. By the Mile, you're talking about yourself. You definitely sound like you're, I don't know what you're listening to on online or whatever. You definitely sound like you hate women. It doesn't sound like you have a, like a good thought about women. It seems like you think very low about women. Like women, all, like all these women out here have a D-man, a sugar daddy or whatever. Maybe the women that you're choosing to deal with in your life have all that. Like maybe you're going after the wrong women, but not all women are like that, dude. There are good women out there. There are people out, there are people out there in happy marriages, happy relationships right now. Like, like that's going on right now. Like probably on your own block. There's, there's a happy marriage out there like that. But this shit you're talking about, dude, it's just... This isn't good for your mental health. Like all this red pill stuff, it's it you do really need to let go of this shit, dude. I'm 32. I think you're older than me. I think you're in your mid to late 30s, maybe even in your 40s. And me at 32, 
I know that this stuff is bullshit, dude. But here you are, older than me, and you're like so immersed into this red pill stuff, dude. This is not good. Consuming content that does nothing more than fuel that fire, rather than working on yourself. Mr. By the Mile, you're adding like fuel to the flames. Like you're you're the the fire, dude. It, dude, that's what you're doing right now. Accepting women for exactly who and what they are and understanding and not only women but men too accepting women for who and what they are dude that sounds like you're talking like all women are the same thing and that's just it's mathematically impossible logically it's incorrect i'm gonna put your red pill shit on its face right now i'm gonna prove you wrong like right now dude what you're the, what you're thinking it's incorrect dude mita look at how many women are in the world let's see in 2022 there were approximately 3.95 billion women in the world so you're gonna tell me all these women in the world that's a lot of women dude you're telling me that all these women are the same like we have to accept 3.9 3.95 billion people for who and what they are like you're saying all of these women are the same logically dude that is just incorrect how many women are in the United States. Let's see. 168.6 million as of 2022 women are in the United States, in our country. And we all know that there's hardcore right-wing MAGA Trump supporting women. There's far left, you know, Democrat women, liberal women, women that are apolitical. There's lesbians, there's straight women. There's women who have like five kids. There's women who chose to have no kids. There's women that are heavy into church. There's women who don't go to church. There's women that choose to go hard on their career. There's women that go hiking, mountain biking, like rock climbing and shit. Mr. By the Mile, women are people just like us men. Us men, not all of us think the same. I don't think the way that you do. Me and you are different. We're people, we're different. I got what? I got, I got, I got five sisters. They're different. They're not all the same person. Mr. By the Mile, this red pill stuff. It, Dude, the, the things that you believe about women are incorrect, and it's a toxic way to look at the world. I really hope you drop this, dude. Come and go. It's a natural part of life. And the sooner you're able to square with that, it's kind of like finally stretching for the first time, and you can move so much better, right, after you stretch. Well, it's the same thing in life, man. The moment that you begin to accept life and life's truths for exactly what they are, the easier you can start to live and be happy. Because in reality, in all respect of truth, women, not just women, anyone is attracted to genuine happiness right people want to be around happy people mr by the mile I, I i really don't want to come off like i'm making fun of you you know i really want to challenge your thoughts because what you're thinking is incorrect it sounds like you went through a breakup you or someone you know close to you went through a breakup i'll tell you what if you got a girl right now like if you're cool like if you live with some chick which you, whether it's your baby mama or whatever and she's cool with you posting this type of shit, if your girl's with you right now and she saw this video and she's like okay with that if that's the case, you got a down-ass girl, dude. You got a girl that's down for you more than, you know, most guys out there do. Because, Mr. By the Mile, this does not sound like you're happy. This is a creepy red pill video with your shirt off, dude. Not miserable people. We're all here to get something from one another. And isn't it nice to be able to get happiness from one another rather than just sex? Some of you are so consumed by sex because you can't get it. I tell you, my friends, the minute that you let that go, you will truly begin to live. And the moment that you allow gratitude into your life, right, into your mind and your heart, and you're grateful just for the present, just because you're breathing and that you're alive, you'll begin to start living and you'll start hating less too. You'll start hating my, you'll stop hating on my videos because you'll be consumed with other things instead, actually improving yourself. Yeah, this is another narcissistic thing. Like people that are narcissists and some people that are like, 
like paranoid schizophrenics. They think that, you know, oh, everyone's hating on me. You know, everyone's out to get me or whatever. Mr. By the Mile, if you genuinely have people hating on you, it, it's probably because of this. You're doing so good. You're vlogging, you know, your, your channel is doing way better. You're vlogging, you know, like, like positive stuff. You're at work showing, hey, I'm back at work. I'm making money. But then, dude, you do this with this red pill stuff, and it's like, oh, God. <laughs> People like myself that make content like this, we shine light on the darkness. And when it shines on your darkness, right, when you become exposed, it's kind of a knee-jerk reaction. Oh, I hate that guy. He's wrong. He's not right. As some of you sit in your... <sighs> establishments that you don't even own right men will always be your biggest haters wow okay mr by the mile i'm not trying to make fun of you i'm not trying to do any of that i'm really trying to challenge your thoughts because what the way you think about women is so toxic but i'm not gonna lie when i first like i saw this video earlier and i was like dude i have to react to this because when i first saw it i was crying laughing when i saw you with your shirt <laughs> talking about like this red pill stuff dude i said no i was like dude there's no way that i'm not gonna react to this video it's just too good i thought this red pill stuff was done i thought it like ran its course on youtube and it was like on its way out of here with like fresh and fit and everybody but i guess not i guess this like toxic misogynistic red pill messaging i guess some guys really take it to heart and that's probably a big factor on why these guys have failed relationships let me know what you guys think in the comment section are you guys red pillars are you guys immersed in this content and if you are i really think you guys need to get some like like, like a mental health checkup. And besides that, be sure to smash the like button on this video, subscribe to the channel. Mr. By The Mile, whatever you're going through, I really do sympathize with you, dude. I know how life is. I know things can get rough out there. But believing in this toxic red pill stuff, it's not gonna make, it's not gonna make your situation any better. Peace out.